Are you not gonna talk this time, old man? Fuck. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting. Well, we've been trying to do that for 20 minutes! This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah, this looks promising. Kappa! No, it doesn't. <gasps> right turn, look! It's all way. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Yeah, this ain't working for me, man. I don't... I, oh. Um. Okay, walking down the halls. Do you have to be the narrator? As he walks down the halls, he sees... Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay. Don't acknowledge the line. As Travis walked, he did not see a line. He was walking down the hallways and saw just hallways. No lines, just hallways. As the line that he did not see vanishes, he comes upon a door to a room with a bunch of files and doors. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Ooh, choices! And here, the story is in our control. I like it. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Let's go. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Why don't... Just walk in circles for oh, a minute. Oh, fuck! Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be our adverse door. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I'm fairly certain that this is not the ending. Whoa! The confusion ending. Let's go this way. I'm gonna go here. Okay, never mind. Let's go! Ha ha! Millie Ho! Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? I don't know! How would we even know? I don't know what the fuck is going on! Come for us. Will something happen? God damn it, fucking bullshit! So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? No! I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. Can we just go so back through I the doors? Where we are right now. We sit on the chair. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... What the fuck?! Wait, so that was the fifth restart. 
That's what- okay, wait. So he's supposed to forget about the previous research? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I got it. We're missing memos and stuff. Uh, uh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The left door! Yet there was not a single person here either. I don't Feeling know. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. See, now we're on track? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Broom closet! It's in here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I bet you there's something in here. I bet you there's something in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. There's something no in here. To still be here. There's definitely something in here. Is there a light? Where's this go? Oh, I closed the door. That's it weird. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> F.A.? F.A.? Are, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes! Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because it makes me feel good. And I like to linger in bloom broom you closets. You realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? No. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story what then it wouldn't be in the game okay to mention it so we're gonna wait till he says one more thing and then we're gonna leave if, if maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say oh did you get the broom closet ending the broom closet ending was my favorite I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Yeah, good he going. Or she has good going. Prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. This fucking Please guy. remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Fine! Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Where are we going? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, upstairs. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Woo! That's not it. Oh my god, no elevator? What the fuck is this place? Executive bathroom. What's going here? Okay, or not. I gotta pee! Is that too much to ask? 
That was weird. I didn't do that. Um, boss. Hello, mm, boss. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ooh, what is this? Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Oh, what is this? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Whoa! He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. I'm going. What is this? Generators? And stuff? What is he doing in here? What is he doing in here? Let's take the elevator down to find out! Holy shit! We're gonna die! This is sketchy. This is sketchy. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're gonna die. <laughs> and we're loading again. Dun dun! What's going on crew? Thank you so much for watching this video. As some of you may know, I just got back from PAX South. If you want to check out that vlog, go ahead and click that link right over there. And if you haven't seen the crazy church cult in H1Z1 yet, hit that link right over there. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. And as always, hit that subscribe button so you can be notified for all future videos. Thank you so much, and I will see you later.